Hey guys, what is up? So today, I'm here with another video and today I am here to show you my top 5 most favorite Skylander Swap Force core characters now. Now, I decreased, I just took off the gimmick, I didn't combine the two games that, wait, what am I saying? I didn't combine the gimmick and the cores this time because that was just too much to handle for me. And the system does not like to upload over 15 minutes, so I, it's very, very difficult. I'm, I just can't do it, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. So here's my fifth most favorite Skylander from Skylander's Swap Force. Now, my fifth most favorite Skylander from Skylander's Swap Force would have to be Thornhorn Camo. Now, Thornhorn Camo was a huge improvement on his earlier version the series 1 camo from Sparrow's Adventure, but the series 2 Thornhorn camo was very powerful. He had his little pumpkin upgrade, and unlike the watermelon, he went to a pumpkin, which was much more powerful, and I mean, yeah, he was just much more powerful. And uh, yeah, now let's go to number 4. My fourth most favorite Skylander from Skylander Swap Wars that was a core would have to be the one and only Popthorn. Yes, Popthorn. Now, I know this one is favored by a lot of people, like tons of people, but this guy made fourth place because I never really liked his rapid fire attack. He seemed kind of cheap because he came with. I don't know, never, what am I saying? He. I just. I did not like him as much. He was great, I gotta be honest there. He was one of the most powerful Skylanders of all time. He reminded me of Drobot with his rapid fire attack. All the rapid fire characters remind me of Drobot, I don't know why. I guess he was the original rapid fire attacker. But, um, Popthorn, he had the little thorns going everywhere, just amazing. And then you could deflate him, and then you could just, just shoot air at rapid fire. He was just a rapid fire character, that's all I can say. And then, like, all of his attacks were rapid fire, he would decrease in air, like, just lose air, then gain a lot of air. And then he could also roll around, or just whatever that thing was, where he just slams on the ground with his thorns. So, now let's talk about number three. So, my third most favorite Skylanders core from Skylanders Swap Force would have to be Enchanted... No, not Enchanted. Would have to be regular... Star Strike, just Star Strike in general. Light Core Enchanted doesn't matter. Um, Star Strike was my favorite because, like, she could kill anyone instantly. Not kill, she could destroy anyone instantly. Because she had her little spin attack, you could spam the stars. And then you could, like, I don't know, it was like a reflection beam of stars, I don't know. But you could easily take down your foes with this character. Now, so <clears throat> Sorry. So, um, with Star Strike, it's just a rapid fire character, and she could take anyone down. So that's why I chose Star Strike as one of my third, my third most favorite Skylander core from Skylander Swap Force. Now, here is second place. Now, my second most favorite Skylander from Skylander Swap Force, that was a core, of course, would have to be Smolder Dash. Yes, Smolder Dash is literally the one of the best characters I've ever played with in all of Skylanders history. I just love her so, so much. They need to repose her as for Skylander 6. She has a must-have. That's one character. She's like my top five most favorite characters of all the Skylanders series. She is extremely powerful. I love her pose. She was the first Swap Force character that was a light core and a fire character other than Blast Zone, of course, that I got. Now, she was in a love yeah, at first sight. Like, when I saw her Soul Gem preview, I was just so just shocked and amazed how amazing she was. So that literally, that made me want to get her instantly. And I ordered her on eBay along with the poster since I got the Dark Edition. Not sure why they didn't include the poster with the Dark Edition. They just included the, a random poster. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, so I got her, and she was much better than the Soul Gym preview actually showed, so that made me much, much more happy. And whenever we did battle mode with my friend and whatever, she would kill everyone. She would kill almost anyone, and then you have her attacks where she can go into 
like a beast form where she can just rapid fire whip and then she can just go up go down so powerful and then you'd have her or whatever you call that it was like she'd summon a flame beam thing that you'd shoot out and then it would be an orb or whatever and then just that whip the little whip <laughs> and now it's time to show you some honorable mentions And now, let me tell you my most favorite Skylander of all of Skylanders, Swap Force. Now, this character, this character is my second most favorite Skylander out of all the series. This one is a most, the most powerful thing I've ever dealt with, other than Wallop. But this is called Bumble Blast. Yes, Bumble Blast is my most favorite swap force core now this character I love so much is because I love this character so much is because you could shoot your honey the character would slow down it was like incredible shoot the bee the bee would go towards it then it would rapid fire about 20 damage per bee hit sting and then those things would be rapid firing then you could summon like 20 at once so you'd be doing like 400 damage every second then the bees go instantly to where the honey is it's just incredible I love the character, he would kill everyone, even more powerful than Smolder Dash, and Star Strike, two of my most powerful characters of all time. Bumble Blast is the second most powerful, and the most favorite, honestly. I liked him more than Wallop, which is kind of really weird, but this character, I would literally marry it, but that'd be messed up, because it's a Skylander toy, and it's a male, and I'm a male, so I can't really marry it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you agree with my list, comment down below. Tell me your list. I really want to hear you. And, um, yeah, this list, this, um, game, in general, was just so nostalgic. It wasn't good, but it was just nostalgic. Uh, this was the most battle mode and played game in all of Skylanders games, other than Trap Team and, yeah, Trap Team. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.